Okay, welcome back. Now I'm gonna do a demo uh, illustrating how we can investigate the nature of air friction and how air friction affects the rate at which something falls, the acceleration of the object. So we know that heavy objects fall quicker than uh, lighter objects because lighter objects are affected more by air friction, right? And, but oh, air friction also depends on the surface area of the object. So if I make a marker and a paper race, right, and then drop both of them, the marker hits the ground much faster, right? But if I can try different versions of the paper, I can try a paper that is vertical, like this, it has less cross-sectional surface area, right? And they kind of hit the, uh, the table around the same time, and then I can try different heights, they're about even, but if I give more distance, you're gonna see that the marker probably wins. So just by changing the surface area from flat to straight, that affected the effect of air friction on the, the paper. So this is a very important concept that air friction depends on the material, it depends on the surface area of the material. So when a car designers are designing cars to be aerodynamically efficient, they reduce the surface area and they make it smooth so that air can glide over the car and affect the, the car's performance much less, right? You don't want to have sharp edges and you don't want to have a high surface area. We could also do different versions. We could crumble the paper and then uh, race both of them. Then it's more even. But if, again, if I go up to the top of a building and I drop the paper and the, the marker, the marker might still win because uh, you have a large distance, right? Even though I've crumbled the paper. But if I crumble it more, if I make the surface area less and less and less, right? What will happen? The air friction will be less and they might be even, even if I'm at the top of a maybe 10, 20, 30 meter uh, building, they might look like they're even. But if I go even higher, the, the marker might still beat the paper no matter how much I crumble the paper. So you can try the experiments at different heights. You can try a paper that is crumbled, half crumbled. You can try flat paper and you can try per paper that is uh, vertical like this. And you can try different shapes of the papers, right? One of the interesting other things you can try is This is really a cool demo. You can put the paper that is flat, right? Remember, imagine if I put it flat like this, look how slow that is. Because it has a huge surface area, it's sort of gliding like this. But this is the, one of the best proofs that you can show that if it wasn't for air friction, even the paper that was flat would go at the same rate, would accelerate at the, as the same rate as a heavy book. Just put the paper on a heavy book sitting flat like this, right? And uh, show that they accelerate at the same rate. What's gonna happen is that because there's no air below the paper, the paper is gonna be able to accelerate uh, with the weight of gravity at the same rate that the book is, even though the book is heavier, right? So just go like this. You see, they fell at the same rate. If Archimedes had done this experiment a thousand or so years ago, right, 2000, more than 2,000 years ago, uh, he wouldn't have said that heavier objects fall to the ground quicker than lighter objects. All you needed to do is just do an experiment like that. This itself shows that the paper, even though it's spread out, will accelerate at the same rate of G as the heavy book and they both hit the ground at the same time. Let's try again. And then again, you can try this from different heights five meters, 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, as long as the paper is sitting on the book, they should both accelerate at the same rate and hit the ground at the same time. See, it's pretty loud, huh? Try again. You can see, the acceleration is both the same and it's equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. All right, so you can have a lot of good fun with this. Try crumbled papers, try different shapes of papers, and then this demo itself will show that the paper and the book, no matter what the shape of the paper is, they both will accelerate at the same rate and hit the ground at the same time, okay? Thank you very much.